welcome to Miss Nene's Art. I'm Miss Nene and thank you for joining me today. So guess what I'm working on today? Another silicone mold set. I will leave a link to this in the description for you guys. What this is, is a holder for your little coffee um, pods for your Keurig machine or any one drink coffee machine that uses the little um, pods that go in there. This is the holder. These are the little circular holes that the K-Pods, I think they're called K-Pods, sit inside. I have a cured machine and I have a little stand to hold my little pods too. This is the bottom of the top that will, um, these all will fit together, hopefully. That's why we're doing this video today to see if this particular set, if everything will fit in like a puzzle and work out. So yeah, that's what I'm using. So I'm only gonna use one color and some glitter. I'm going to use this alcohol ink called Forget Me Not. And I'll leave a link for the set of these in the description as well. And this is some glitter that I got from my daughter from the nail candy shop, um, the Glitter Clean. I believe she is no longer selling on her website. She's selling these directly through her Instagram. I will get information for that and I will put it in the link also, in the description also for you. So all I gotta do now is mix up this resin and I'll be right back.
I am back. It's been about 24 hours. They're ready to be demolded. Um, I had some extra um, resin left over. So what I did was I went on ahead and made these coasters. I didn't have enough to, um, well, here's the molds right here. I didn't have enough after pouring this and then I had enough for this to fill up this. This is the, the holder for these coasters. But I did use this set before in a previous video when I made these. And here is the finished holder. This is what this turns out. Isn't that pretty? And these are the coasters that I made for these, for the, um, the holder. It fit in there perfectly. So I do sell these on my website at MsNaneesArt.com. I'll leave a link in the description for you so you can make your own, get one and make your own. But they turned out really, really beautiful. So I'm gonna put these to the side here. And let's just get to this right here to demold them and assemble. So here we go. So this is the bottom of the top. Really pretty. And it came out the mold without any issues. I got this mold to set from Amazon and I'll leave a link for that for you too. And the glitter that I got from my daughter, the nail from the nail candy shop, like I said, I think that she's selling her glitter on Instagram. This was called Fairy Dust. So I'll leave the link to her. So if you're interested in this particular one, that's the name, Fairy Dust. Okay. So let's do these. They're interested in see if this is actually going to assemble right. Because it's really cute. It's going right into my kitchen. Okay. Put that right there. A puzzle let's see so this is so I'm assuming I wonder if you get to glue this Okay, so I was having some trouble trying to get these things to stay put while I stick them into the slots and then try to put the top on top, but they were falling apart, falling out of the slots. Some were stained, some was falling forward, some was falling outward. So I decided to go ahead and finish this offline. All I did, really, all I did was what I'm doing right now, except adding the glue, E6000 glue. And here's what it looks like. Now, the only thing I did that I shouldn't have done was put some weight on top of it to hold the glue together. Um, I probably didn't need to do that, but for some reason I did. And as it dried, it bent out because these pieces weren't really 100% cured. In fact, I didn't even let them cure for a whole 24 hours. What you should do is wait at least a whole 24 to about 48 hours before you um, do that. And you may not have to do it, that's just what I did. The pressure on top pushed it down and protruded out the piece. 
But I still think it's really pretty, though. It's not something that I would make for a friend or to sell to someone if I was to make a custom pod holder. I definitely would not sell it with it protruding out like that. But it's going on my kitchen counter, so it's all good. It's all good. But it's pretty. I, I love the concept of this. I love how it turned out, except for the protruding part, which, again, doesn't really bother me much because it's going on my kitchen counter next to my coffee maker, so it's okay. I usually keep my pieces that are that aren't that great anyway and use them for myself, give it to a friend <laughs> if they want it. But here it is. Here it is on the counter. And you see, you can't even tell. I think it still looks really pretty. You can't even tell. And it's going to sit in the corner. It's got it sitting right here by the window. But it's really pretty. Let me know what you think how this turned out. And as I said before, I will leave the link to this mold in the description below for you. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe, hit the notification bell because my next video is coming up. And it's going to be wood shapes. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.